Hello, my name is Ross Allen. I'm a tutor on the Extended Diploma in Art and Design at Black Four Six Form College. I'd just like to tell you a little bit about our course. Before I start, I just want to show you our Pinterest board. This is a great place to go to see what past students have done and give yourself some inspiration for when you join us next year. So I heartily recommend you go and see this uh, at the end of this video. The Extended Diploma in Art and Design is a multidisciplinary course. So you look at painting, drawing, photography, graphics, textiles, 3D, and if you uh, wish to, animation as well. The first year is very exploratory, allows you to look at different media materials and techniques. We have a great space in the frame, uh, which is a really large open plan uh, classroom, which allows you to work at different scales uh, very easily, as well as show off what you've done to others and uh, be inspired by their work very easily. We look at drawing and painting, but we also look at other media such as photography. We have a full uh, studio set up with professional lighting and um, we have a lot of SLR cameras which you can loan out quite easily. Uh, we teach you how to use them manually to get their full potential so whether you want to be a photographer or whether you just want to take great source imagery for your drawing and your painting you get um, the opportunity to do that. Uh, we also have a full Mac suite with industry standard software such as Photoshop and Illustrator and all our students are taught the basics in this and many of them do decide to take this uh, further off their own accord and a lot of the work that you see here is done by a lot of practice and self-teaching um, but the results are amazing and quite often these uh, students will um, peer teach others around them throughout the year. So the course is in the first year split into two modules. The first module is very much about uh, a wide range of projects and, and briefs and workshops to keep teach you the skills and techniques and, and explore different things such as 3D uh, textiles and so on. So you get to manipulate materials in different ways, work with materials in different ways. And also we encourage the idea of combining different media together. So whether it's using photography to professionally shoot the work that you've created in, in, in the class or whether it's to um, work with um, textiles on top of your uh, photographs and so on and so forth, you get the opportunity to try lots of different things uh, by mixing media together. And we encourage that and that creates a wide range of innovation and individuality, which is one of the reasons I think we have a, a really strong course. The second part of the first year, the second module, is all about applying the techniques that you favour uh, in a more formal way uh, in a single brief that allows you to respond to a specific brief and uh, basically show off what you do or have done over the course of that uh, first year. And by, as you can see from these photographs uh, of work that I'm showing you here, there's a wide variety of ways you can approach it. And there's, uh, we, I don't think we have a house style. We uh, allow people to sort of push themselves their own way. In the second year, there are another two modules. Um, and this is where you get to think about practically improving uh, your skills in a particular area and also thinking about your career goals. So module three is about career aspirations and tailoring your work and experience to suit your uh, career goals. So it's about portfolio building, uh, CV writing, and learning interview and presentation technique. Module four is more about the practical side of it. So it's about really um, pushing yourself in a particular specialism or two specialisms where you combine them together and producing a, a set of work that um, shows off the best of what you can do over, uh, and <clears throat> best of what you've learned over the course of the two years. Um, this work is often what culminates in an end of year exhibition. This is what you uh, display in your end of year exhibition and we uh, give you the chance to uh, promote your own exhibition as well as hopefully give you a really nice public space to do so. So we've been in the Hounsell Shopping Centre, in the Sainsbury's viewing galleries, and as, as well as other private galleries over the, the last few years. Uh, we pride ourselves on having 100% high grades over the last three, four years. Um, and two, three of those four years, we've had high grades of somewhere around 90%. Um, we put this down to the individuality and innovation that we uh, foster over the course of the two years. Um, because of the way that we approach the, uh, our learning. Um, if you want more information, please go to the Blackpool Sick website. If you go to the Courses Enrichment segment, 
uh, down in the menu there, you'll find New Student Hub. And in, in the visual arts section of that, you'll find a lot more information about the course, but also uh, videos and links to things that can help you sort of come up with ideas over the summer that you can maybe work on to sort of get yourself, prepare yourself, if you like, for the course. Uh, you'll also find on there a New Student Day task of uh, looking at a lockdown 2020 exhibition. It shows all the work that our students have done uh, since we've been in lockdown, which gives you a good idea of uh, the different uh, or the wide range of breadth of work that we, we have uh, at the college that our students are producing, a lot of which has been very independent uh, because of the lockdown this year. Um, if you have any other questions, and of course you can contact the college uh, through the liaison office and uh, um, we will endeavour to answer as many questions as you can, but also on this new student day, um, if you uh, go to the visual arts section um, uh, on the website, you can apply for the new student day, uh, open days, uh, the online uh, event that we've got, and there you'll have an opportunity to ask questions and find as much information about the course as you can. Uh, I hope this has helped, uh, if, uh, and I look forward to seeing you next year. And uh, yeah, have a good summer, and I'll see you uh, in September. Thank you. Bye.